Well, hello, hello, hello. Much love to you all. May God bless you all. Make sure you hit that like button and share this stuff out. Um, I'm hoping that everyone is seeking the Lord more than we are looking for the things happening, but knowing that the things are happening, it's a reason why we need to be seeking the Lord even more. Um, I'm only saying that to don't consume your whole day looking at all these things. Don't I've, I've spent very minimal time doing it because, you know, every about two and a half hours seeing what's going on, trying to stay on the word more than anything else. And that's what we need to be doing. But the Israel at war, uh, this is a prophecy news alert. And I, I want to um, read some scripture to put this up. But now they're saying that it's spiked above 200, probably going to continue I've looked on Twitter. There is some videos I cannot show. There is some really bad videos of some of the hostages, the things taking place. When we are praying, we need to be praying for God's will. Um, I do see a lot of times when things like this happen, people tend to pray to try to tell God what to do instead of praying for God's will to be done. We need to be praying for God's will because God is sovereign and just God. So, that being said, I'd like to say also that this unprovoked attack on Israel, I'm going to bring up some other things here in a minute. Uh, Hamas launched a massive surprise attack on Israel about 6 a.m. in the morning. On Saturday, sirens wailed throughout the su uh, southern Israel, and rockets, uh, rocket fire could be seen as far as Jerusalem. Um, th this is huge. And the reason why I want to bring it up is we've been in a lot of peace talks with uh, Saudi Arabia, as, as, as we've known and there's a lot of scripture that relate back and forth. I've been saying for quite some time, I do not trust this Abraham Accord peace deal that has been happening with many nations. I do not trust it. At some point, I believe someone is going to break that and someone is going to be conspiring against these things. Many parties, I believe. But as we see in 1 Thessalonians 5, 3, it says, For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travailed upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. One more portion of Scripture I want to read is Psalm 83, verse 3 through 5. It says, They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance, for they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. This is definitely what we are seeing. This is definitely what we are seeing, my friends. And I've used this scripture before um, for things that are taking place. It says, you know, the Israel full-scale war right now, the uh, number of rockets that have been fired are massive, and it continues to grow as the time is going on. As we're hearing a second wave of rockets, uh, m m many waves of rockets. Here's a video. Like I said, I have many videos I've seen, and I, I would say, please, when you see some of these videos that pop up, some I can't even share on here because they're that graphic, try not to get in the flesh. Try to get in the spirit and seek God. All these things that are happening is prophecy. It's supposed to take place. These things that are happening in our days right now is prophecy. All this has to happen. We all look for that blessed hope. These types of things have to happen. That's why I keep saying, push the name of Jesus Christ so much. Pray like they did in the book of Acts for boldness. And when boldness fell upon them, many people came to the Lord through their boldness of their preaching. Yesterday was a big day. Uh, this ministry had preached out in the street with boldness and love to the people in the colleges. There was over 100 gospel tracts given out, like 15 Bibles. One man gave his heart to the Lord. Um and uh, he, he's starting to follow me on Facebook. Hopefully we can continue to witness to this guy. But during the midst of all this going on, there was two major earthquakes too. During the midst of everything going on, it says two strong earthquakes registered at a 6.7 over in 
Papua New Guinea. This is pretty huge. 6.7, friends. Not just that. A series of powerful earthquakes also hit the western Afghanistan town, destroyed 10 villages, more than 10 villages. So look at so look at this. Is it destroyed more than 10 villages? It says the disaster management officials said at least 320 people have been killed so far from this earthquake. There could be possibly more that have died from this earthquake. So I'm going to go down a little bit. People are in fear from this. They got rocked, my friends. Look. Those were homes and stuff. They got rocked, man. The last time we seen something big like this was in Turkey. Now, look, I just want to keep on saying, seek God now. Salvation is now. Seeking now, my friends. It is important to seek God while the time is found. Keep your lamps full. Let your light so shine that the enemy cannot take you. Let your light so shine that you glorify the good works of the Father through uh, a testimony, through being a vessel of the Lord. Please, don't spend all of our time searching for the signs of the times. Spend the time to see the signs of the times and to pray more, to read more, to fast more, to get into a fellowship with God more and more and more and more and more. Much love to you all.